All right, welcome back here, everybody. And now we're ready to go ahead and convert our uh, texture paints from ZBrush so that we can use those inside of Maya or Photoshop. And the first thing that we need to do before we do that is we need to export our low resolution mesh that's been UV mapped um, inside of Maya. So we can just, as you can see, I'm inside of Maya here. You can just simply select your mesh. Uh, we're not going to manipulate any of these channels, but what we are going to do, and what I personally like to do, is hit 3 on our keyboard so we get that smooth mesh preview. I'm going to come up here to modify, convert smooth mesh preview to polygons. Even doing this, it's not going to change the UV map, but what's going to happen here is, even though this is, isn't necessarily a low resolution geometry, I'm still going to call it low resolution geometry because it's just going to make that paint a little more accurate. Okay, and we'll come up here to mesh, triangulate, just in case we have any um, geometric errors that will um, stop X normal from actually baking our textures. So we'll just come in here to export selection, and I'm just going to export this to the desktop for example purposes only. And we'll throw it into our clownfish low, just export it as the low object. Okay, so there you can see that it exports. I'm just going to go ahead and pull this off screen here and we'll jump into ZBrush so now we need to um, get the texture paint information here and to do that what we can do is come over here to our um, tool menu and make sure that we go down here to our uh, one subdivision level and we're going to take an UV map this I'm going to make the UV map of 4096 by 4096. Uh, unfold the Create tab. I'm going to use the GUV tiles. Okay, so now it's going to be re-UV map. Jump back up to subdivision level 6 here. We're going to take the texture map. We're going to hit Create. We're going to create from new from poly paint. And there you can see that our texture uh, comes in here. And I'm just going to come up here to Tool export and I'm going to call this the three um, clownfish final paint three high I want to use that high designation because this way I know exactly what it is go ahead and hit save and it's going to take a little bit to export out here and I'm going to do the same thing for um, the other two here as well just to show you exactly uh, how long this takes I mean it shouldn't really take you that long um, to go ahead and get all this texture information actually baked out of ZBrush. Okay, so that's how we can go ahead here and load our next tool. And we just want to make sure that we uh, load the right ones. So this is going to be the first one here. We'll just repeat the same process. UV map, make sure that we turn the subdivision levels down to 1. 4096, we'll go ahead and use the GUV tiles. Go ahead and jump up to 6. The texture map, new from poly paint. There you can see our poly paint gets converted. Go ahead here and export this out as the uh, final paint one high. And it just takes a little bit of time to go ahead and kick through. Uh, not really bad because I'm using a, a fairly high end computer. So my processing time is it's fairly decent. Okay, we'll go ahead here and load our next tool. And I think this is going to be two. So we'll go ahead here and load the second one. Okay. And repeat the same process here. Jump down to subdivision level one. We'll UV map it with the 4096 and GUV tiles. Jump back up here to subdivision level six. Texture map, new from poly paint. There you can see it gets converted. Go ahead and export this out. Go ahead and hit save. And all I really want there is the, the texture information. I don't really necessarily need the, uh, the high end sculpt, but since I'm already exporting it out, I have a multitude of sculpts that I can continue to use for my high res. Um, and we'll just use that same one to bake our normal map, but we'll just keep changing the uh, the base texture. 
Okay. Okay, so since that's baked out here, I can go ahead and close this. And we'll jump to our desktop here. And we'll take a look at the uh, things that it has baked out. So we have a bunch of different, um, our three different textures, but we also get the MTL files. I don't want those. I'm just going to go ahead and delete those for now. Um, and I also want to make sure that you guys don't save your scene uh, when you convert, convert like this because <laughs> you'll have to basically go ahead and redo uh, all the weight painting information. Just go ahead and reopen your scene. Uh, just make sure that you don't save that. Let's go ahead here and open X normal so that we can get all these um, texture paints converted because when you look like this you're, you're probably saying well this doesn't match the UV map and that's because of these are the conversions from ZBrush and when we go ahead and go ahead and try and convert it inside of X normal all this paint information is eventually going to match our UV map that's on our model inside of Maya so let me go ahead here and launch X normal which makes it um, really easy for us to do this process and here you can see that it's launched I'm gonna go ahead and have to clear out some meshes here because those were meshes from an old model so I'll just right click add meshes go to my desktop go into our clownfish folder and I'm just going to use this um, clownfish final paint one as our high object, our constant high object. I'm not going to keep changing it since it's always the same. I'm also going to right click here and click the base texture. So I want this clownfish final paint one high. And we'll come over here and change the smooth normals, not using the exported normals. I want the average normals. For our low definition meshes, we will take the low object which is the one that we exported from Maya. Our baking options, we're obviously going to set the, the folder here to be our clownfish. So we'll call this clownfish body. Well, I spelled that wrong. Body one. And here we want the normal map and the base texture. So I'm going to hit generate maps. And I know this is going to take a little bit of time, so I'll go ahead and pause the video. Um, and once it converts the first one, then I'll come back and I'll show you guys the conversion of the other two. Okay, so let me go ahead and hit generate maps. And I'm now going to go ahead and pause the video. Okay, so now that we're back and you see that our uh, texture map has been converted for our first one here. Okay, what we can go ahead and do here is close this. Let me go ahead and move this over real quick. And you can see that the conversion... Um, of that texture map is going to match the UVs that we have inside of Maya. So that's what we want. And if we go ahead and take a look at our normal maps here too. Our normal map actually matches the UV uh, layout as well. So that's good. So we know that our normal map and our texture is going to work. Now to go ahead and actually bake our second uh, version of texture. All we need to do is come up back, come back up here to high definition meshes. And we will just move back over here we're going to change the uh, texture map here from this first one to this clown fish final paint too high jump back into our baking options we're not going to rebake a normal map because there's no sense to rebake another normal map since we've already baked one we'll just change this to the clown fish body texture zero zero two and we will go ahead and generate this map um, now we can always sit here and watch it generate this really shouldn't take too long just to generate the uh, the texture the only thing that really takes a long time is the actual normal map to generate so let's see how long this takes and if this starts taking um, an exorbitant amount of time maybe I'll go ahead and pause the video and I actually think I might have to here um, because this looks like it may take a, uh, a little bit of a long time. And when I say long time, it may take about 10 minutes, 5, 10 minutes to go ahead and convert that texture information over. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video here, uh, and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like once it gets converted. Okay, so now that our 
second body texture has been converted what we need to do is uh, go ahead and reset for our third texture let's go ahead and close this window come back up here to high definition meshes we'll just set here for our third body texture baking options we're going to go ahead here and say that this is going to be our clownfish underscore body texture 003 okay and we'll go ahead and generate the map for that um, I'm not going to go ahead and hit the generate map here because um, we've already done two and you guys basically see how that process works here so I can just go ahead and close this uh, I'm going to go ahead and close this as well simply just delete it because I've already gone ahead and actually made the body textures for us go ahead and bring Maya back here okay um, now what we need to do is we need to set up the color changes here for the body um, and we're, we're, we're going to go ahead and do that in the next lesson um, because we will need to go ahead and add the attributes to this um, and then we'll set up all the the texture information and all the connections that we need so um, come on back and we will go ahead and make those connections for our rig.